Hey everybody, back with a video on some different types of fuel you can use for your rocket heater. Uh, this is what I have here that we're growing right on the property. So, um, and, and you know, it, it, there's some other things you can throw in here, but let's let's go see what I got. <clears throat> nice little smorgasbord of fuel for the rocket heater. Right now we got wood in there. So we're going to start with the wood. We got your regular standard wood that I have stacked up right here. And all I do is just take a piece of it and split it. I just got to make it a little bit smaller than I would normally if I was sticking it in the, in the uh, wood stove. But uh, so long as you can fit three or four of them inside of this. And this is a, a six by six. So, you know, three by three by three or something like that would uh, would work great. And that's about, uh, these are about two by twos, one by ones, but this is the first batch of uh, wood I put in there from firing it up. So um, as I get a bigger bed of coals in the bottom, the pieces will get a little larger. But I, the smaller pieces work great for getting the stack temperature up. All right, so... Uh, uh, what we have on the smorgasbord here is we got uh, corn, just some regular old field corn. Um, that's uh, a great uh, fuel for the woods for the uh, rocket heater. Um, you see it snapping and crackling. Throw a few more of them right in that corner. Now you don't even need a grate, you don't need a stir stick, a stir pot, it just, it burns up. They, I burned a lot of corn through this, and it just burns up. I tell you what though, it stinks outside. When you're burning corn, it stinks. So you got the corn, uh, you corn cobs, so you can throw corn cobs in there and those will burn. And they burn kind of funny, they don't really torch up, they just glow, they, em well, there, I just made a liar out of me. Um, well, they usually just, uh glow. I think it's going to do that here in a second after it burns the surface off there. You can see it just kind of glowing. Okay, next on the list, so we got the corn and the corn cobs. How about just the whole thing of corn? Let me stick that in there. I'm not going to throw it in there, but you could. You could just throw the whole thing right down in there. Uh, wood pellets, you can throw wood pellets in there. This is actually a hybrid uh, wood corn pellet, and uh, we made those. Upcoming, I don't know if it'll be, I don't know when, but we're going to be doing some uh, um, videos on making pellets. Um, how about some uh, wood chips? This is the additive that the uh, uh, wood chip, or the wood company was bringing me for the garden. So you can throw wood chips in there. or mulch. Now you don't want to throw a bunch of that in there because it will stop up the the uh, burn chamber. Uh, but you can add a little bit here and a little bit there. If you wanted to burn more of it you could uh, run some sort of a screen to make sure you got airflow through there. Let's see what else we got. Bark, typically the byproduct of uh, splitting wood. So you could split wood for your house and then use this in your uh, in your rocket stove. Um, this here is uh, resembles bamboo but it's actually uh, sorghum. It's a sorghum stalk. So you can burn sorghum or bamboo. This is a uh, sorghum. This is a sorghum seed pod head and uh, uh, the birds got to some of it but there's still a lot of seed on there and it is a grain just like the corn so you could stick that down in there. That'll burn. Beans. Now, I'm not going to stick the beans in there because I'm saving these for seed for next year. But uh, you could stick, you could grow if you could grow enough beans, you could burn the the beans. They'll uh, they'll be a good fuel as well. Walnuts. If you got a walnut tree somewhere, these are loaded full of BTUs. Those are super hard. We'll throw a couple of those in there. All right. So you got plenty of different options for feeding fuel to your rocket heater. Thanks for watching. We'll see everybody on the next video.